So coming up today, we have two rehousing projects. We have one of the scallop end of the honey, which is going to go into this tub here. And uh, this one here, we're going to be separating the uh, Scorpius italicus from the mother. This should hopefully be absolutely fine for them. It's just a nice wee small size. So stay tuned and see how these go. Okay, so I'm having to narrate over the top of this video because I goofed up the sound during the original recordings. I don't know what happened. Likewise, bits of the videos uh, gets a bit jumpy when we get to project two. Uh, I can only apologize for that, but there's not much can be done about it. So here we are setting up the housing for the Scalapendra de Hani. Uh, we already moved one of them, if you recall, into the CD unit housing thing that I made the other week and uh, both roughly about the same size uh, some substrate's gone into there and uh, we're going to add a bit of decoration just to, to kind of give it a sort of sense of uh, a more natural feel more natural environment Moving about, bits of moss, bits of bark, that looks good enough for me, that will do for now. Now to get the Dahani into the new enclosure. Normally as soon as the lid's off on this one, it's up and over the edge, like quick flash. So I kind of, it was one of the reasons I knew it was ready to be rehoused and the one time I was relying on it immediately pouncing up and over the edge it decided it was going to do the, the opposite of what I wanted it to do which is just typical so it kind of teased me thought about it and I went nah I'm going back in So, the old tilt and tip, best way to get it out without causing any too much severe sort of trauma or anything. And there we go, that's it off into its new enclosure. Hopefully it'll be nice and happy in there for a good wee while until it needs an upgrade again. So the two of them sitting there nicely and now we're on to project two. So this was the separation of the babies from the mother uh, of the Euscorpius italicus. I can only apologise because during the process here it gets really juttery. It's kind of quite jumpy. So I will uh, apologise for that in advance. Uh, here we have, I think there's 12 babies in all sitting with her just now. Okay, so this is a wee setup for the babies that we've done. We're uh, here, we've, we've separated mother away, we've, we've, we've moved her away. As I say, I think there's 12 babies sitting with her just now. Um, instead of trying to move these individually one at a time across into the new setup, I figured it would be far easier just to move the piece of bark 
across into the, the setup. This is when things start getting a bit jumping again later on. And this is me actually moving the bark. But what happens, I got distracted, so I actually put the bark piece back in with the mother. She then repositioned herself along with the babies. And so I had to kind of move her away again so I could could get on the babies moved across, which I think happens shortly. But there you saw on a piece of the dirt, one of the babies. We're just checking the mother's house just now. I've got another three there. And again, I can only apologise for, for for the video starting to get a bit uh, jumpy. Um, I need to be a better editor. That's what I need to do. Here we go. We're back to that bit of bark again. There's not quite as many on it this time. I think we're down to about eight or nine. Um, but this gets moved across into the new enclosure. And then it's a case of hunting out the rest of the babies. I figured the best way of moving the babies because I certainly wasn't going to risk trying to lift them with the tweezers uh, or the tongs and I didn't want to try and lift them using my hands or anything um, unless you were physically sitting on something that I could just lift and move across like this bit of dirt here that's got two of them on it so this was just an easy case of transferring a bit of substrate across to the new uh, their new house so to move the other babies, I adopted the teaspoon technique, which is beautifully displayed here as we scoop up the baby on that teaspoon and transfer it across into the new enclosure, just like that. How easy was that? I think mum has earned herself a nice weekend break away. Uh, Maybe send her for some hot stones and massages and all that jazz. Well done, Mum. You've done a broad job. Okay, so this is just basically me searching the house uh, for any leftovers. And you don't know if you can see it there, but right at that left claw, that tiny bit of leaf is flickering about so I knew there was at least one more and if I recall I actually found another three uh, down in there I think we can make out two just now so they again were, were subjected to the teaspoon method of transportation So that's mum, she's going to get left to recover, having raised 18 or 19 babies pretty well, pretty successfully, well done her. Uh, bouquet of flowers and a nice feast for her I think is on order. And there's a new baby so I'm going to dump a load of fruit fly in with them. I need to go and get more tomorrow because I have depleted my stock between uh, between using for them and Amanda. So the, sh the sheath of tights will go over the top again just to stop the fruit flies I have dumped in there from escaping. I've also ripped up a couple of mealworms and dropped them in as well. So there's mum going off to rest. Well done her. So there we go. We enclosure for the babies. I'll keep you updated as to how they're doing, obviously. Uh, I've already had quite a few subscribers asking if they could possibly get one from me, purchase one uh, from me. So here we go. There's the wee setup with them in it, which you've already seen by now. And there's the centipede setup. So thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so we've just seen uh, the Scalpeno Dahani rehoused into a larger tub, which isn't that much of a different size to the CD unit I made. And the baby scorpions are now in this little tub here. I think I was about 18 or 19 counted uh, upon transferring and to the best of my knowledge there's no more left in with mother. Uh, I think mother has earned herself a well earned break. I do feel guilty as hell for removing them from her but that's probably more of a human emotion than, than, a, than an invertebrate emotion. Nervous as hell because I've never bred scorpions before 
um, so really worried about survival rates and stuff but I've dumped a load of fruit fly it was kind of the last of my fruit fly colony so I'm going to go to town tomorrow and get more fruit flies and dump a hell of a lot in there hopefully it'll eat I need to find some kind of tiny little water cap thing which is usually quite good out the bottom of at uh, the bottom of juice lids you get a little plastic rubber seal thing uh, if you scoop them out they're pretty good uh, so I've been told that was a, a good recommendation from somebody on Facebook and I'm gonna go for now because uh, I've got stuff to do possibly another rehousing project coming up but I'm undecided yet as to whether I'm doing that but if I do, obviously, you guys and girls will know all about it. So it's going to be bye-bye for now. And if you're wondering where the wee man is, he's out with the wife. Um, my wife, not his wife, because he's too young for that. He's just a little person. Um, he's out with my wife. Uh, they're out at the shops. So i got peace and quiet to do my rehousing videos. Um, take care of yourselves. Bye for now, and we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.